welcome to video three. Now we've looked at the components of the von Neumann architecture and we have looked at how to run a program instruction inside the CPU. Now I wanted to have a look at this diagram. I created this to help students revise the process of the fetch decode execute cycle. So let's dive straight in. We're going to look at a few different parts. Firstly, the fetch part of the cycle. Now what happens in the fetch part is the program counter, or should I say the contents of the program counter, is passed into the memory address register. Now the program counter stores the address of the next instruction to be fetched in the memory address register. Before we can fetch the instruction from RAM, the memory address itself needs to be passed from the program counter to the memory address register. The program counter keeps track of which instruction of the program we are currently on. Now because the program counter does this, the program counter in step 1b is incremented by 1. And this means that the program counter is always pointing at the memory address of the next instruction to be fetched. Now in computer science, we call this the process of pipelining. And what pipelining is, is the process of fetching one instruction at the same time another instruction is being decoded and executed. And this is very efficient. Now in step two, the contents of the memory address register. And by contents, I mean the data at that memory address in the memory address register will be loaded into the memory data register. It's important to clarify here that the memory data register holds the data from the memory address. Now that's the fetch part of the fetch decode execute cycle taken care of, we need to look at how we decode the instruction and execute it. So we've got our data in the memory data register and we need to pass that to the current instruction register. So the instruction is held here while it's decoded, prepared and ultimately executed. And once we've got an idea of what we want to do with the data from the current instruction register, it's time to pass the contents inside the current instruction register to the control unit. The control unit then decides the operation of the processor. And this is why it's called the control unit, because it tells the computer's memory, arithmetic logic unit and the input and output devices, how to respond to a program's instructions. And once the execution's complete, we start the cycle all over again. So the next instruction is fetched and we continue on from there. So that's it for the fetch decode execute cycle. In the next video, we're going to talk about memory and caching, and hopefully we'll see you there.